What's up guys, Steven Bogren here from Pro Physique. Today what I want to talk about is probably the biggest coaching mistake you're going to find. Hey y'all. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great one. Here's one, and today's topic, you know, I was thinking about it. I was thinking and I was thinking and I was hanging out at Paul's house the other day. And I was like, and uh, we were kind of looking at uh, some other coaches, you know, because when you like a coach or when you dislike a coach, it doesn't matter. You have to see what's making them successful, right? And so we were saying, all right, so what's making other people successful? Like, what are they good at? You know, why are they still getting clients? You know, what's what's going on there? And so we were we were on another coach's website, and you know, we we went to go purchase a uh, a coaching plan. Um, interestingly enough, when we went to purchase this coaching plan, um, didn't have to fill out a questionnaire, um, didn't have to tell them anything about us, any kind of food allergies or prior health issues or uh, musculoskeletal issues, uh, digestive, nothing. In fact, we just went on there and it was like, hey, give us your $1,200 and here's, here's your plan. Um, so obviously we didn't pay them the $1,200, but it really fucking, it, it brought something to light and I think that it's something that needs to be talked about. So I think one, it will help those of you who are trying to get into the coaching scene and who want to be good coaches and who want to help people and do the right thing. And two, it will help those of you who are looking to hire a coach to immediately know whether a coach is good or bad, right? Um, so. It's the questionnaire. It's the questionnaire. Are they asking you questions? Are they asking you about your history? This should be a huge thing. Um, it is very important that we ask as coaches what you're, you know, get an idea. Have you dieted really hard before? Have you done a show? Are you trying to do a show? What are your goals? Like, there is a lot um, that goes into what we're looking for in terms of a good coach, right? There, there's so much that encompasses it, right? Are they caring? Do they give half a shit about the clients? Do they have a maximum amount of like clients that they'll work with, right? At some point, you're, you're probably too busy to take on any more clients, right? You probably shouldn't take any more on at that point then, right? Craziness. Um, <laughs> you know, um, do they have some sort of education? Now, a formal education is really good. It's definitely going to be a huge, huge benefit. But there are some coaches out there that are good coaches that don't have a formal education. They've really um, put in their time studying and they've, they've listened to people who are informed and they keep themselves around. And so they're still good coaches. Um, but maybe they don't have the same formal education, right? Uh, so there are, there are a lot of great things. And of course, how do they do for their competitors? How do their competitors look? Are their competitors healthy? Are they coming out of diets healthily? Are they getting to good places with balance? Or do we see that a lot of their competitors are tossed by the wayside, put on tons of weight, develop eating disorders, right? And now, granted, there's some people, even good coaches are still gonna have some of these clients that kind of fall off the wayside and do their thing, right? But we can look and see, are there a majority of the clients that are doing these things, that are having these same issues? Um, that's when we know, right? So there's a lot of things we can look at there. But if your coach is not asking you questions about yourself, you should immediately be triggered, son, daughter, child, adult? I, I don't know. You should immediately be triggered. Something should go off in your head like, wait a second, right? Now, if they're getting a questionnaire, they're getting some information, some pictures, like those are all really good in indicators that they're looking at you as a whole, not just like where you're at this point in time, where have you been, like those sorts of things. So it's important that we have some idea about who you are as a person, how you operate, your dieting history, do you have a history of eating disorders, do you have metabolic diseases, right? Are you in disease state, are, do, are you diabetic? 
You know, um, do you have high blood pressure? Do you have Hashimoto's? Like, is it controlled by a medicine? Like, those sorts of things are all really important, right? Because what we've seen in the past, and we've seen this because it's created a lot of legal issues, right? Um, we've seen people, trainers, prescribe ephedra to a client on blood pressure medication. That didn't go well for that client, right? Um, we've seen people who have diabetes be prescribed high carbohydrate diets. Um, we, we've seen all kinds of issues, right? We've seen people who are extremely sedentary, untrained, detrained individuals for years and years get put into um, high intensity, high volume workouts and get uh, rhabdomyolysis. Like, we've seen these things happen. Like, if you do your homework, right, as a coach, you can prevent a lot of these fucking issues. Which one, it, not only does it keep your clients safe, and that really should be the big thing. The big thing should be that your clients are safe and healthy. Um, but, and that should be your coach's hope for you, right? I want you safe and healthy, right? Now, injuries happen in the gym. Yes, it's, it's inherent within the system. But for the most part, we should be trying to keep our clients healthy and happy, right? So, you do your homework, it, it helps to keep your clients healthy and happy. So that in and of itself does a whole slew of other things like keeping more clients coming to you and liability wise, it keeps you out of the fucking court system, okay? So some big things right there that are very, very important. Now, it's, if you are looking for a coach, like finding out those things about you helps, okay? Um, making sure that your coach is qualified and competent, right? Because I could have a master's degree and be an incompetent asshole and not know what the hell I'm doing. This is 100%, right? Now, I might trick you, and it's going to be a lot harder for me to have a master's degree or a higher education within the field and not have any clue what I'm doing, right? That, that kind of weeds out a lot of people. Um, but there's a lot of certifications out there. And this was another question I got today. Like, hey, coach, I was looking at this certification. Like, do you think it's any good? And a lot of the times I say, no, no, I don't. Um, but when I went to get my first personal training job, they didn't ask me about my degree. They asked me about my certification. Okay. So even though I had a bachelor's degree, right? And it was just something I was doing for some extra cash on the side. Um, I had a bachelor's degree in exercise science. They didn't care. They want to know what weekend certification I had that I paid $600 and took a test online for. Um, so if your coach isn't asking you questions, I strongly recommend that you start asking them questions. Everything needs to be catered to you. You are an individual, right? Now, there are some resounding themes that we know that work and that are good, but again, you're still an individual. You are Sally Mae. You are Joe Buck. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know. Whatever your name is, you are you. Um, you don't want something that was designed for me or something that's catered to me, right? Now, are there gonna be some similarities? Yeah, absolutely there's gonna be some similarities, right? But if you haven't lifted in three months, you damn sure don't want my squat plan, right? And I don't, I'm not gonna make any progress on your squat plan, right? They're gonna be very different, right? You can't go in and hit 315 for reps. I can't go in and do 135 for sets and, and get the same kind of progress that, I, that I'm looking for, right? So the big resounding, Take home from today, if your coach isn't fucking asking you questions when, when they're talking to you for the first time, that is a resounding issue. If you are going online and you are getting something and it is, hey, give me your money, here's your plan, that plan wasn't designed with you specifically in mind. Will it work? It might. It might work. You might see some results on it, right? Um, you, you might get to a point. But understand that you're paying a lot of money and putting a lot of time and trust and effort and hardships into something that was not made with you in mind. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Make sure you're doing your homework. I know, fuck, dude, I'm not in school anymore. I shouldn't have to do homework. It's your money, it's your life, and most importantly, it's your health. Make sure you do your due diligence and making sure that you are getting what you are paying for in terms of coaching services, guys.